Vicky, where are you at? Where's your head? My head's over here. Out of frame. You get a huge. <laughs> Here's a Danica. Beep, beep. We are back in Vegas. We got back yesterday. We just stopped and got me a tetanus shot. So I got I to gotta keep my arm moving so it doesn't get too stiff. And the best way to keep your arm moving, bends and do some digging. So that's the Danica leaves tomorrow. So we got to get the best out of, out of our day. We won't talk about Danica leaving tomorrow. No. I'm still campaigning well, I mean, to have her move in. We're probably just going to keep her. We're going to take all of her stuff and her ID and everything. and Kidnap her. Cut her off from all of her friends and family. And Is this where I <laughs> <laughs> so let's go do some sourcing, kids. Sorry, inside jokes I have to interrupt everything, don't they? Mm, it's true. Sorry. It's true. Great trip, though. <laughs> Yo, what's up? We're gonna do a little haul later from our bins. You hiding? Cause she doesn't have sunglasses. I can't see. I can't she can't see. 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 Burrito tacos. Burrito tacos. We want to dip. We want to dip our meat and cheese. Let's do it. Dip it, dip it, dip it, juicy, juicy, juicy. Mm. Beef burria quesadilla dipped in the juicy juice juice. I could just drink this stuff. All right, we're back from the bins, ready to do our haul, a mini haul. What'd you get? Why are you giggling? I'm giggling because Danica's counting me and going, three, <laughs> two, one, go. Okay, you ready with your oohs and ahs? Let's go. <laughs> All right, so we went to the bins. I Ooh. filled I filled a cart. With How long were we there? Oh, we were like 90 minutes. We were there yeah. like an hour and a half or so. Middle of the day, not... not it was packed, day. though. It was pretty busy. It was busy. busy. I don't know. I got this hat. It's a wool vintage style. Uh, Chicago Bears hat. Dub Bears. Dub Bears. I don't know if it's worth much, but I mean, it's I care. I paid though. a quarter for it. I got this vintage 80s. Ooh la la. Picasso esque color block novelty print sweater. Love it. How much are you going to sell that for? I'll probably sell it for like 75 bucks. This one, this is very 90s. It's kind of a crop sweater. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Very good, very good. Stripe, it's cropped, it's got little beads on it. This will probably be like a $50 one. Okay. This is new with tags, it's not old. Um, but it was just kind of a cool. That was new with tags? Kind of a back? That's kind of no. sexy. <laughs> I might actually wear this. Yeah. It's casual, it's got a little Playboy. Yeah, to the symbol, mansion. But that's it, it's not, not super gaudy. I like how it looks like the clouds. Clouds, it looks like clouds. I would like it back, please. <laughs> so, for whatever, I mean, we had a lot of stuff from casinos donated here in uh, in Vegas, obviously. So one of the things today was a bunch of stuff donated by the now defunct casino called the SLS. And, Never heard um, of it. These are their table game dealer vests that came from their uniform shop. So I got about four or five of these. Danica got one, at least one. <laughs> so, very nice, very nice, I very can't chic. Can't button mine. Well, I could, but it's real tight. Um, I thought they were cool. Like, I don't know what they're worth, but they're I thought they were kind of cool. They were fun. Um, Danica found this vintage nightgown. Ooh la la! Very pretty nylon vintage. It smells like cigarettes. So they smoked in bed for sure. Yes. It's Glidden's, uh, made in the USA, so it's early 80s, late 70s, oh. is my guess. <laughs> I was zooming in on the dog real quick. <laughs> She's watching. She wants to see the haul. Uh, 2008 Coachella sweatshirt. I thought it was kind of cool. Oh, cool. Oh, etch a sketch. Etch a sketch, and then it's got all the bands listed on the back. Ooh, that might sell for what, good money. Yeah. Another, another monkey vest. What's up with that monkey business? <laughs> just a vintage 80s um sundress with this huge like collar on it i think i had that dress it looks very laura ashley it's I not laura it. ashley but it looks like it is it short or long it's long oh very church it. dress so many keywords in that dress i don't know what the frig this is it's awesome can i put it on yeah it's fancy. So it's got a zipper up the back. It has a tag on it. 
but it doesn't, it's not a costume tag. It's made in the USA. It's velvet or velour. And it's got two uh, cutouts for your legs so you can really ooh la la people. Mm -hmm. Shape, it's pretty cool. I don't know what I it is. I was excited I knew that earlier. I don't know what I'm going to sell it for. Uh, I've got a vintage made in Mexico, I think. Um, just a denim Ralph Lauren. These, these tops sell well. Mm -hmm. These tops. These shirts. It's a <laughs> shirt. So like maybe 50, 60 bucks there. Danica also gave me this, which I think goes really well with that. This is a costume. The brand here is Charades, made in the USA. This isn't um, one of the more expensive costume companies. But this one is like, this looks like a raver. Like it's, come on now. Oh, wow. Oh, it's pants. Look at these pants. It's pants. And it does I, go with I that. I see it under that thing. Like yeah, that so your stage. pants can stick out under that. I don't know. It must have came from the same person's, same person's closet. But this thing like is all like lace up sides, lace up front. I mean, scandalous, stand. scandalous. Jesus. I think this is probably very 90s just by like the design. And I, again, I don't know if these were original to this or if somebody added them on, but they look very cool. I got, I got some more monkeys. More monkey business. <laughs> more monkeys. I thought there were different animals. I thought they were different animals too, but apparently I've got all, mon all monkeys. Um, I've got two of these dresses. This is the brand is called Gaylord. This Ooh. is just a set. <clears throat> 70s with the dagger collar. Pow, 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 pow. And you'd wear it with like, I don't know, a belt around it, I assume. But belt it is reminds me of the Brady mom. That was very Carol Brady. Carol Brady. Carol. Carol Brady. Yeah, it's kind of cool. They're in great shape. This is a vintage um, Valentino Ooh. Um, scarf. It's Scarfy. Scarf. Made in Italy, Valentino. I don't know how much it's worth. I'll look it up. But... Probably 50 bucks at least. Those stripes hurt my eyes. I've got a vintage 80s rain spooner reverse print. Kind of like popover. Do you call that a camp shirt when it has a half button like that? I call it a popover. Popover. But I'll use, I use camp at Aloha and Hawaiian kind of energy. I use all those keywords in any Hawaiian yeah. shirts. So this would be probably 60 bucks or so. It'd be nice, nice. if it were bigger. It's maybe a medium, I think. I don't know, it doesn't say I that. I like it muted color. Yeah. This is the other dress made by the company Gaylord. Same exact type of dress, just a different pattern. Belt it, cinch it. Mm -hmm. This is nothing special. This is just that fig and flower. Just a, I kind of like this blouse. It's pretty. I might actually keep that. I don't know. I could see Danica wearing that. That's exactly what I said. And she said, I have about 800 of them that I don't wear. <laughs> um, this is a wrap dress by Lulu's. I thought it was a cape. brand that would sell quite a bit on, um, quite fast on Poshmark. It's kind of like lost its mojo lately. Yeah, but that one's good for summer. I could see that yeah, I mean, it's still probably hard. like a little, it's pro you know, for Ben's prices, this is just like a bread and butter, maybe 30 bucks. This is a vintage 50s, actually made in the 40s, Lands of Salzburg. Well, it's Lands original before it was called Salzburg. It's 50s. It made in the 40s. Uh, buttons up the back, so it's before zippers, um, self-covered fabric buttons on the back. And it's just kind of, it's tiny. This is a tiny waist. I mean, I don't know, extra small. 17 inch. Yeah, <laughs> 16, in, 16 inches. Um, so cute. Pretty. It's a pretty plaid. Needs to be a little spruced up a little bit. Um, this is not vintage, but it's an Eagles uh, tour short shirt from 2000, oh, 2020. Desperado, why don't you come on to your, I don't know the words, senses. senses. Something about riding fences, I don't know. <laughs> All right, this is a vintage made in the USA on the jerseys tag. I don't know. Eagles. What tour is that from? <laughs> it's not the tour. Fraternal Order of Eagles in Michigan. We both say good jokes. Mm -hmm. Our delivery is much better. <laughs> uh, just a pink velour fuzzy sweatshirt. 
This is fun. This looks like this is dead stock on the 80s, made in the USA, screen tar, scars, stars tag. Um, just says Veterans Day. It was crispy. Crispy. given away at the Palace Station here in town, so it was probably a giveaway on Veterans Day, but that no one ever wore. I don't know what it's worth. Probably not a heck of a lot. I just thought it was cool. It is cool. You sold for 50 bucks, I bet. I saw that thing. I, I did too. You joke about it, like you dressing up the... The, the Santa with the Dolly Parton wig and his little and, and put him in a little suit. a little um, Asian elf suit, little Asian. And Look little how cute Asian, it is! Cute it's so super tiny, fuzzy, um, quilted. It has a little tag on it. It's not vintage. I don't know. I just thought it was too cute to leave behind. I agree. Or a tiny girl. Pick a little toddler. A little toddler girl. Yeah. Uh, nothing special here. This is just uh, super dry. Used to be a company that would sell pretty well, but this mm -hmm. is the, a nice fluffy sweatshirt. And that's a $30, 40 staple. Is it, a, um, is it from Las Vegas because it's super dry? Or... <laughs> oh, look, that's a different that's one. one. Hey, that's a different monkey. It's a different monkey. I got a different monkey. This is a 2006 Six. Six Sublime Tour t shirt. It's not a. They're all over like Target and Walmart, whatever the sun symbol, but this is almost vintage, almost vintage. Um, let's see, you got some vintage 80s board shorts. Some more. Do you remember when your moms would make jams? My mom didn't sew a button, Oh. unfortunately. My mom made my clothes when I was little. Did she make you jams? I don't, what are jams? They were like the long. Long, long board they shorts, go, board shorts that go to your knees and fabrics and mm, I don't remember. crazy fabrics. This is, these are vintage 80s too. These are a little bit smaller. Um, I was hoping to find the whole sheet set. I think I not. saw the sheet. Sorry. You know what that reminds me of, Katie? Hmm. All aboard! <laughs> <laughs> so just a little vintage um, pillowcase. With the trains, I think it's cute. I always sell single pillowcases. This I would not have picked up. This is a newer Disneyland shirt, but it's Disneyland Paris. So it's that's cute. That it's one. really cute. Um, it's a size large, but this is small. So I'm thinking this might be a large in kids. I bought these maybe for me. They're kind of big, but I kind of liked the patchy. Yeah. Baggy there. Patchy baggy. Patchy baggy. Vintage 80s cheetah grandma sweater. I think I showed one very similar to this on the show a few weeks ago. I found another one. Mm -hmm. It's like intentional granny core that was like sold like this. Nice. I don't know. Yeah. More. You do know. I don't know about that one. I do. I like it. It's pretty bad. <laughs> so bad. That one might be too this bad. This is the kind of, no, but I'm telling you like the teenage girls are wearing right. this shit now. The applique 90s. Someone made that in their backyard. All right. I'll, I'll trust you. All right, so this is vintage 70s Judy Knapp, California. I wish this were bigger. I wish it had the skirt that matched it. This is a super tiny little um, quilted vest. I feel like your daughter could wear that. This is very Gunny Sacks era. Um, this is your best thing, right? This might be my most expensive thing. So this is a just a garment bag, but it is very, it's like saddle new buck leather and it's the company is called Mulholland Brothers and it's handmade made in, America. in America it's really it's really really heavy it's 11 pounds which is why probably most people don't want to carry this through the airport anymore but it's a really nice quality thick leather how much did you pay for it I paid $8.99 okay how much do you think you can sell it for well, if you look up the brand, I haven't found this exact one, but if you, and I haven't looked that hard either, but if you look up the brand, these sell anywhere from like $200 up to like over $1,000. So um, they're pieces in general. So I don't know. I'll do a little research, but I can't imagine less than 200 Yeah. Plus shipping. It's heavy. And Danica found me this. She doesn't want to pack it in her suitcase. So this is just a, like a keystone typesetter tray okay um these were really popular for people to like hang on the wall and put smalls in on the little collectibles hmm. and things they always sell really well this might have been modified as she had said i think all that's been modified is someone put a hook on the back yeah i don't think anything else about it the is little gold corner pieces on the front are added maybe 
They might be. Let's take a look. I haven't really looked. They might have been added on. Hmm. Either way, it'll still sell like that. I work at a rubber stamp factory, and we had those in the back room, and I never used them anymore. And I didn't know. You didn't know to take them. I didn't know to take them. Hi, my name is Joe, and I work in a rubber stamp factory. One day, my boss, he said to me. Hey, oh, sorry. Joe, where's your blanket? <laughs> your button factory. <laughs> It's Joe works at a button. Oh, it's all chewed the hell up. That's okay. Maybe, maybe not. What is it? It's a blanket. I thought it might have been San Marcos. I don't believe so. I can't really read the tag, but it's a faint something on there. It's not Beaver Lac. It's not San Marcos, but it's definitely that same vein, that same era. Do you need help? No, I got it. It's just that this is a very common design. It's like the lions and the eagles. You just don't find this color very often, so. It may still sell. If not, the dog's just got a new blanket. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's all I got. I guess... When you walked in and you got that blanket, it was like when you went to get your car and your face was so cute because you were like... Yeah, she was like, yoink. <laughs> I got it. I I'll yoinked it. it. All right. My turn. I'll hold the camera on you. All right. The first <laughs> thing is the last thing I got. And Vicky and I almost had to get in a fight over it. We saw these... T-shirt bros were going through their stuff, and one of them gave this to the other guy. He looked at it a little bit. He's like, "Hey, I'm gonna throw it back." And so, right, I was like, I was doing this. I was watching, and I saw he's gonna throw it back. And I went to grab the cart, and I looked around, and Vicky's, and I said, "Don't you even think about it." And she was nice enough, but she did give it up to me without much of a fight. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. <clears throat> so this is probably one of the cooler things <laughs> I got today. But first of all, we were only there for 90 minutes. All that stuff that Vicky got is ridiculous. Like that's what. Our bins, which I would consider mediocre compared to, say, uh, the bins in Colorado, you can still go in there for 90 minutes if you know what you're looking for and get a ton of really good stuff. So we really can't complain about our sourcing here in Vegas. Um, anyway, this is the 80s on Nemesis tag, as you can see. And uh, this is Elks National Free Throw Con Contest. All you can see is your arm. Sorry. Free throw, free throw contest. Hoop, shoot. And Byram. But the best part is it's the guy's name is Irv. Well, on the back it says Byram. Yeah. So I don't know, Irv Byram, I guess. Maybe. I love Irv. But this thing's like not a blemish on it. It's beautiful. I love it. So will I be able to make a million dollars with it? Probably not. But maybe. I, I like the name Irv. Maybe I can get seventy. I'll price it for like a hundred. I don't know. We'll see. Irv. Um. Next up, I don't know how these sell, but a lot of times when you're when you're uh, sourcing at the bins, you're like, "Man, eh, how bad could it be? I'm only paid a dollar for it." So this is Polo Golf Ralph Lauren, just golf shorts, but they're nice green. You got the little polo patch right there. So again, I really don't know, but if I can sell for at least thirty, I'll be happy. But of course, I'm gonna look them up, and maybe they sell for sixty, maybe they sell for seventy-five. I don't they're know. They're vintage. They're vintage. I'll sell them for minimum thirty. I'll be happy. But could probably be thirty. Um, this is like maybe Y2K. It's just Denali National Park in Alaska. Nothing crazy. Maybe I'll list it for like 35 bucks. Hey, Allison. Hey, Allison. I'll save this for a moment, this Christmas sweater. Next, I have this military um, uniform. I grab this, I don't really grab as much military stuff anymore, but I like the gray and I feel like- It's army. Yeah, I feel like it's more likely to sell than like the, the green, for instance. So mm -hmm. we've got the Nobody top. Nobody wears army green. Yeah. Well, the casual green ones are just so prevalent. They're yeah, just really they're, easy to find. Yeah, you see them everywhere. Um, Vicky, I think you said you thought this was from the 80s. Based on the tag. Yeah. So, and then the, the, the code. In, I'd have to double check for you, but yeah, quick glance, the code. Quick glance, we think 80s. I like it. I think you could rock it like a blazer too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the top. And the pants. We have the peanut gallery over there. Well, mm -hmm. you asked me not to take a nap. <laughs> you got the pants? I got the pants too. I got the whole outfit. Hey. So reinforced butt too. So you can really get your fart on and nobody will be the wiser. So. Rude. <laughs> that was a big military boy. Yeah. All right. This is actually one of the cooler pieces I got today. The only problem is it's so super stained. So I hope that I can get the stains out because seriously, look at the back of this thing. Arizona Jean Company. Now Arizona Jean Company is not like it's just JC Penny brand, 
But nostalgia wise, and this thing is awesome. But the problem that's is some see, serious. Look at the stains. Late eighties, early nineties. Look at those colors. Yeah, you've got a lot of fading here on the on the front. I'm okay like with bleaching. the fading. I'm okay with the bleach spots. It's the big stains on the front. That it's I'm real. It's real stained. I know, but I don't see it from over but here. would you pass this up? Come no, on. No, I probably would have taken Maybe it. Maybe I'll I'll wear it and I'll just make sure everybody stays at least fifteen feet away from me. And they can't tell it's stained. Yeah. It's a distance only jacket. Um, and then I've got these pants. Would you say NYC? Is that how you say it? Yes. Just big wide leg pants. They were kind of like the um, Roka wear, big in the 90s and Y2K. Yeah, but these are nice. You know, the whole wide leg thing is coming back. So again. It's been back. It's been back. Okay, it's been back. Um, but I mean, I paid a couple bucks at the bins. I mean, they're in really good condition. I can't imagine I would get less than 40 for them. Probably not. So. This I don't think is vintage, but it's got, it had good graphic, and Raider stuff always sells. So I think maybe I could get 34 if there's none, none others. What? It reminds me of the Terminator. The Terminator. Yeah, it's got kind of a cool thing going It does on. look like Terminator, dude. Yeah. And Vicky's not the only one who can get um, cool denim shirts. This one, hers was just regular Ralph Lauren since polo jeans. And it's made in, I think it's Hong Kong. Maybe it's... No, made in Mexico. 90s, 90s, 90s. Yeah. And yours has the metal buttons. The what? Metal? Mm hmm Yeah, metal buttons. A little bit nicer. So, of course, I'm going to grab that. What else you get in that bag? I got just a few more things. This, I don't think is vintage, but it's a cool hoodie. Again, hoodies, all, all the hoodies are at the bins. Safety first. But it's a fun Nevada train. Northern Railway Museum. All aboard! But it's got a nice big train graphic on the back. There's going to be some train nerd out there who will pay 40 bucks for this. And then uh, Danica found me this. I don't know if they'll sell it all because I swear I can never sell my 80s Olympic stuff. But this Levi's button-down oh. 1980 USA Olympic Games. So that'll sell based on what it is, not the fact that it's the Olympic Games shirt. Yeah. It'll sell because it's a Western button-down. Yeah, that's what's weird because I was like, what? Because I, listen, Levi's made all of the, camera up away from my double chins. Uh, Levi's made all of the, I think they must have been contracted with the Olympics. To, so like I have bought um, like polo shirts that were like the official shirts of like the timekeepers and stuff like that. So this is just weird that it's like, here's a Western shirt. Mm -hmm. um, this is a really cool piece. The Ziggins. Skunk Records, Long Beach. This is, it's not vintage, but this is the 20 year anniversary of uh, Bradley, no, is it Noel from Sublime? I don't know how you pronounce his last name. Uh, he died in 1996, so this was from 2016, but it's just a really cool Skunk Records, Ziggin shirt. I think I can still sell this for a decent amount because I couldn't find any anywhere else Whoa. of this particular one. So, and there's still Sublime nerds out there. Two more things. This, I don't really know what it is. Cliff Keen Athletic. Um, I mean, it's about it's a shooting range shirt. Yeah. It's like last double, post, post, single, late, I don't know. But I think it might be like late 90s, early Y2K based on the tag. This is like an anvil tag with a mm -hmm. Cliff Keen tag sewn over the top of it. So, whatever. And then this, I have no idea that the value of this is. Who knows, maybe it's fake. I don't really know anything about Gucci, but it's a dust bag. I don't think they fake the dust bags. Maybe they do, who knows? Why wouldn't they? If they fake the product, wouldn't they have to come with a fake dust bag? Probably. So Gucci, it says made in Italy on it. It has on the inside, it's this tag. Anybody who knows anything about Gucci, feel free to comment down below. Got the really cool tie poster, pull string or whatever that's the Gucci colors with these little fancy gold fake gold tassel things at the end but I mean seriously would I pay for this 50 cents maybe maybe so that's it not bad for 90 minutes not bad for 90 minutes I almost took my eye out with that that's what you get all right Danica you're up oh I'm doing a haul yeah okay. wow wow you're so fancy oh yeah are you sure that's a jacket uh, no I'm not but um <laughs> Maybe it's maybe it's maybe it's furry chaps. 
relatively sure it's a jacket. You can't throw that back. That's such a great costume piece. I've heard people tell me that, so I, that's why. I no, you it. can't throw that back. Um, it needs a combing or something. <laughs> but I feel like you could wear it like chaps. Yeah, right? Like, Just have your butt hanging out? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to leave it on. Yeah, leave it on. Okay, so I just... Uh, to be fair, you were not planning on taking a bunch of stuff home, so you were just kind of true. messing around, pulling yeah. weird, sh weird shit. My suitcase is already packed, and um, it's not it's not real cost effective to ship from Las Vegas to Texas. To Texas. Unless we're, it's you know good stuff, but not like what are those things? These are for making your own gummy bears. <laughs> <laughs> gummy bears. I'm gonna have a rave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put some put some acid in there, some LSD. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got a Roku remote because everyone always needs replacements. It's true. Um, I got some fry flats. No, at first I thought they were just trash, but upon looking them up, they're actually distressed and supposed to look this way. And they comp out at, eh, I don't know. I'd be happy if I got 25 bucks, honestly, but there they are sold for 50, eight and a half. Little fry, they're all leather. Distress. I can't remember the style, but um, we little had, belly flat. We What's had, that little dude? Uh, this guy got into the into the cart and never was checked. So <laughs> I don't know if this is a knockoff or if this is an actual GI Joe. Do you know? Oh, I don't know. What's his name? Isn't he like Scorpion or something? Or I don't know. I'm sure somebody will tell us that I'm wrong. I don't have my readers, or I could probably tell you right away. But anyway, sometimes GI Joes can be sought after one, and I didn't look that. It didn't weigh anything. Yeah, it cost, it cost you like 10 cents. Um, I got this just because we were at this place in where we went to the Magic Beer. Oh, yeah. And they didn't have good chalk. They didn't. Their chalk was too light to That's actually how this ended So up now you're going to have to carry it with you everywhere just yeah. in case you ever find a place yeah. like that again where they let you ride on the walls. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, there's so much cool stuff you can find at the band just for like yourself, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I got a book. I wish I would have looked at books more because I could ship those home cheap. Yeah, that's true. I didn't think about it. Um, just a little book. I got a Snoopy, and I always get these particular Snoopies. They don't sell fast, but this is one that's near and dear to me because I have carried one around. This one's from 1968. Oh, wow. What a cutie is. The, um, the United Feature Syndicate. How do you know he's from 1968? He's a little tidy. He's cute. He's a little tiny. He's he was cute. wearing a dress, and there is the same time period he had a girlfriend that you could dress, and she, but she has a little flower in her hair. Oh. I love you, Snoopy. <laughs> Don't you quit me, Snoopy. <laughs> um, I got me some compression socks. Vicky won't allow me to wear because she said they're gross and that she would give me a new pair. But there you go. Yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> I got a bunch of ephemera. Just because I thought it would be easy to put in a carry-on bag. And Show those I, cards. Those cards I are got really cool. A whole wrapping paper. I just, I don't know. This is just stuff I like. I right? know, but so like this birthday paper. You know, this is from the '80s, right? That looks like Norman Rockwell writing. It says you old fart. Birthday, you old fart. It's a, it's it was probably somebody's birthday. 40th birthday too. Right? Oh, there's some Looney Tunes. Little Taz, a little Cute. Pinky. Christmas and Santa. I don't know. It's, it, this isn't really a good haul, but this is. What I think got. it's a good haul. These are some Christmas cards. They're. Oh, I saw those. They're like reproductions someone makes. Hmm. Oh wow! They look really. Those neat, are really though. cool. And they like have all the envelopes and they're in bags. Nice. And, there's nothing else. You've got your Christmas cards already. Yeah. I don't know why I put everything back in here. There's a lot of Christmas cards. You got. You got to show. Cards. You got to show the cart. The um. The picture cards. For learned in English or whatever they're. We can't. <clears throat> we're not sure what they're for. Maybe somebody will recognize them. <laughs> um, so I got these flashcards. <clears throat> I know that people probably wouldn't buy these for anything other than art or I don't know. I, I think they're super cool. There's like there's Kristen. 
There you go. And who else we got? They just have the little name right here, really small. There's mm -hmm. no, I bet they came in a box at one time. It was like, no, like no, your world. In the, in, in the there you classrooms. go. We got a dog and a horse. I really, Berries, I, I think these are really berries, neat. Berries, pie. Oh, beetle skin. Tortoise. I think it's cool. I think those are really cool. <laughs> Wait, that clown's creepy. That clown is creepy. Look at him. Clown. Yeah, I think those cards are really neat. Canoe. Table. Canoe, canoe. Canoe, canoe. Canoe. Canoe, canoe. Fire. Mm, I don't know. Arm chair. <laughs> I'm kidding. Do you want me to go through them all? No. No. They're cool, though. Yeah. They look old. They don't have an age to them. They're heavy, you know. Like heavy art stock. Yeah, maybe some artist will want them. I got this for my son because he loves this sauce, but he probably won't wear the t-shirt. They're picking. Oh, I love sriracha. Which one? Which one likes the sriracha? Well, Elliot. Because Elliot, my BFF. Loves sriracha, but this is Andy's side. Elliot, my BFF. I think so. I think so. Um, Vicky got me this. Our cruise. Nice. Because you know we're going to cruise again together. This and is, this looks like something Danica would Little, uh, I don't know. No, it's not vintage. But it's a little. Love it. Little captain. I could see you wearing that out on, out on the deck. Come on, let me take you on a sea cruise. <laughs> you can wear it with your captain's hat. Elliot the Spider-Man. Um, pillowcase. Pillowcase. I sell single pillowcases all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, but when you said that, I didn't realize that. That's cool. I feel like that, I, that bag doesn't look very big, and yet there you've pulled out so much stuff. I spent $26. Uh, these are framed jeans. Again, Vicky and I might be keeping our jean purchases. But mm -hmm. uh, this is the Labaggy Palazzo. Baggy Palazzo. They're very cool. I mean, super wide leg. It looks so big, though. Um, I got some koozies. What the, the reason why these ended up in the card is because sometimes in the bins you'll see like 50 of the same koozie. Yeah. And they don't weigh anything and then you lot them up and they sit in your inventory or your um, store for like two years and then someone buys them and you're like, somebody finally bought the koozies. <laughs> That's how that works. Baby shower paper. More paper. Oh, I like this. I thought this was special. He was free, basically. What are you thinking? <laughs> is he pooping uh, or I don't is he know. like staring at like a rocket launch? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Just deep thoughts. Um, this is all little little stuff in here, but I can stop or go. Well, I recently sold a turntable Scrabble, uh -huh. and it was missing two of the letters, and the lady didn't read that. But she ended up keeping it and asked if I had any more. And I was like, no, but now I now can you have see extras. Her too if she wants to pay five dollars for them. There you go. <laughs> Not really. That's why I got those. Uh, oh, not that. <laughs> just kidding. I got a bunch of keychains and buttons just because they fit your luggage. And this one's a Disneyland for Ashley. <laughs> I didn't see it so bad. Everybody know Ashley? A Mexico bottle opener. This is a Grand Canyon, the Skywalk. I did it. I did that too. Um, and then this one was kind of one of those moments where you spend all your time digging. Somebody had dumped out these dominoes or bridge. I don't know what they are. Because they're not weighted. They're weird. They don't really look like dominoes, but hmm. they, they had the box and I'm missing three of them. So you know what I'm gonna do with them? I'm gonna put them in Gambler somehow, like a little, I don't know. It's gonna be like, maybe. Maybe. Something crafty. Something crafty. <clears throat> and these should not have made the cut. That thing I was holding up that I was joking around about is the lipstick. Is it a penis I don't lipstick? Know that I bought a lipstick at the <laughs> bins, but it's not used. Mm -hmm. The only mark on it is from when I nicked it, putting the lid back on. It's just a matte color. But sometimes these are, um, I don't know that I would sell it, but sometimes these are like limited edition. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, sometimes they're worth selling, for sure. This one's a riveted rose. 
Oh, I like to put dip them in alcohol if I'm going to use them, but you know. You do you. The wax doesn't really harbor whole bacteria. And these were from when I was like a little girl. We would get these at the 10 cent store. I know they're not valuable. It's nostalgia. <clears throat> yeah. Y'all remember these? No. I was too busy um, buying candy. These little babies candy and Transformers. <clears throat> um, what else? What else? That's about it. Magnets. All right. Well, we have one more piece to show of mine if I'm going to need Danica's help. I did have readers. All so along. there you go. There you go. Looking good. Are you ready to try to, to show my last piece? What is it? Well, hold on. I'm going to stop the camera. Oh, I'm ready. I'm already recording, just so you know, because... You're recording? Yes, because I have to, because this is ridiculous watching you get into Hold this on. thing. Hold on. Is it our size? <laughs> okay, ready? What'd you put? Sisters, sisters. Sisters. Look at this. <laughs> How could you leave this? <laughs> Let's go in front of the tree. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody! The wonderful life. Lord, help the mister who comes between me and my sister. And Lord, help the sister who comes between me and my man. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I had to put on a little something more comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <we're just> <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna feel, I'm gonna feel, great balls of fire. <laughs>